Hi, this is Sandra Boer with Louisiana Cajun Mansion, and today we're going to talk about day trip number three. It's all about going to uh, New Iberia, visiting uh, the quaint town there, mostly uh, with uh, the downtown uh, Main Street area, uh, then going on to Conorico Rice uh, Mill uh, and seeing Spanish Lake and Lake Martin. And I promise you, by the time you're done with all of this, you will feel fulfilled, you will feel tired. So, um, so let's get on this uh, trip and I'll talk to you a little bit about every segment of it, okay? Um, it starts out with you leaving the mansion in the morning and going directly to Shadows on the Tesh. Uh, Shadows on the Tesh is a beautiful historical home. It's got beautiful gardens. It was built in 1834. It's 3,700 square feet and it was built for a sugarcane farmer and it sits right there on Bayou Tesh. I promise you, you will enjoy. If you enjoy uh, look, going to historical homes, you will enjoy going to this home. Uh, down Main Street there, there's also um, uh, Bayou Tesh Museum. The museum uh, is an interactive museum. It's got lots of exhibits in it. It's full of culture. It's got um, several artists uh, have their things uh, displayed in the museum and um, it uh, um, it has a lot of stuff with the local industry and uh, that museum is pretty fun it's and it's very nice there's also um, Bulani Park Bulani Park holds several events there and they um, it was originally um, put up as uh, uh, where it was honoring um, Bulani. Bulani is a uh, high-ranking uh, military civil officer in Spanish Louisiana and he served as lieutenant governor in 1799. He actually founded New Iberia and uh, there's a bust of Bulani in the park and uh, under that bust there is a list of 16 families that the King of Spain um, actually sent down here uh, and uh, he sent the families down here to actually start a colony. Well guess what? My grandfather uh, Gabriel Lopez was one of the uh, 16 families and his name is on the bottom of that bust also. So uh, it's pretty special to me. but. Uh, when you're done with that, there's also another place where you actually can uh, have lunch and uh, that place is called uh, Beau Soleil Cafe. You can have lunch and they also have a Sunday brunch uh, that's available there. And when you're done with downtown, I recommend that you head on out to Conrico Rice Mill. The uh, It's about a, mi a mile away and it's the oldest rice mill in America. It's uh, placed on the National Red Registry and it was founded in 1912. Mr. Conrad actually owned and uh, uh, founded the rice mill and he actually started this by actually cutting the rice himself then putting the rice out in the sun and then packaging it back again in 100 pound rice bags and uh, then he would bring it to the mill. Well, he soon realized that um, there was supply and demand in this and uh, several people wanted to buy rice. So he started packaging it in smaller bags of rice and selling it to the people, thus starting Conrico Rice Company. Um, when you're done with that, I recommend that you head on out to a Spanish Lake. Uh, it's the home, uh, there's a, a variety of birds there. There's 140 different species. Uh, and there are woodpeckers and herons and uh, hawks. And uh, 140 different species of birds actually nest there. So if you want to fish in Spanish Lake, uh, you can catch catfish there. So that's pretty cool also. Now, when you're done with Spanish Lake, I recommend that you head on out to Lake Martin. Now, Lake Martin is 9,500 acres of swamp. It's full of wildlife and native plants. Um, you can actually explore uh, the uh, swamp by riding around in your car. You can walk, you can go kayaking, or you can go canoeing. There's a bird sanctuary there. Uh, bird, bird lovers would 
actually love going here. It's just a bird paradise. It's beautiful. And if you want to fish there, you can um, catch bass or brim. Now, that is a full day's worth of stuff. Uh, you're not doing a lot of driving. You're actually doing a lot of sightseeing. Uh, there's lots of culture. There's lot, lots of education that's involved. But I promise you, when you're done, you will feel, feel fulfilled. And uh, so I recommend this trip. And I uh, hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.